we're here in Ballymun, and um, as you see, the shopping centre here. Um, it's been pretty run down. There's a lot of businesses closed down. Um, the area has a very high unemployment rate, and um, certainly jobs is a big issue here. As is housing is another big issue, and the issues with BRL and the regeneration of Ballymun. So um, it's you meet quite a few people now very seriously concerned about the future and, and, and all the cuts in the jobs, uh, the projects throughout the whole area. So we have um, you know a very a very focused uh, number of people here. Um, the residents are well on top of what's going on. They're well aware of all the cuts and they're well aware of um, you know who has brought us to this stage. And it is a very very you know it's very hard thing to hear that they're very much in tune with what's going on. You know. Uh, we're we're standing here at the the, the houses that have the problem with the pie right here in Salog, and as you see, um, these houses have been abandoned here for over three years, and there's now. Um, hopefully a contract going in place and within the next several months there should be contractors coming in now to start working on these but it probably will take 18 months to two years to deliver these back into the housing stock. The problem is that the floors and the paths and that have pyrite and they will all have to be pulled out along with the underground services so it's a huge contract that's costing millions of pounds and it will be um, it will go towards the regeneration in Ballymun, so people that were promised housing under the regeneration from the flats and from the towers will be housed here.